Crap, let's go. Oh. Okay. All right, we're up. We're live. We are live. Let me see. This is a weird angle. Eh, guess it'll work. Yeah. Hmm. All right, I guess that'll work. It's a weird angle. It's not the way I usually set this up. Doing lives is not easy. You would think you could just sit down, turn on the camera and go live. But for a person like me, uh, this actually is in my basement. And between the times I do videos and go live and stuff, uh, people are down here doing things and I gotta kind of get things back to the way I need them so I can shoot and do videos and, and go live and stuff. So if I'm out of breath, that's the reason why. It's just a pain in the butt sometimes. People can't leave stuff the way I put it, <laughs> simply put. So uh, yeah, so we're up and running. I don't like my camera angle. I'm usually a little further back. I might even try to adjust this, but let me just say what's up to uh, Benjamin Hepburn. You are the first one. What is going on? What is up? All right, so I'm gonna see if I can adjust this uh, this this thing because I, I don't like what the way it looks. Then we're gonna get into this live real versus fake. All right, let me just see if I can adjust this a little better for my liking. For my liking. Let's see. That might, ah, here we go. It might do it for me a little better. It ain't perfect, but ah, it is what it is. That's what everybody says. It is what it is. All right, guys, so, let me see. That's a little crooked. My OCD can't allow that to continue. It's crooked, and it don't even look clear. All right, forget it, I call it off, it's over. No more live, I'm kidding. Nah, but it's all right, it's all right. This, this'll work, this'll work, this'll work, all right. What's up, people? Beastly Garage here. Um, I know you guys are following my other channel, Beastly Reviews, and I know I'm putting a lot more content out on that channel these days than I am on this channel. And it's just time. It's just time. It takes time to uh, put videos out. And right now, with people sending me these shoes all the time, you know, I kind of got to put those videos out. So the ones that I kind of do which is like these videos and stuff and oh and now i'm already starting the clock so i don't know this is probably not going to be a good one I'm, I'm just not feeling it because the internet's not right my camera angle is just not perfect everything's not the way i like it to be so i don't know all right i'm just going to change my whole attitude be positive it's friday night tjif what's up guys you're hanging in there with me you're on a friday night you're watching youtube um yeah I can, I can dig it, and it's hot down here. Damn, it's usually always cool down here. But all right, so real versus fake, the lightnings. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted a pic of a real lightning and a fake lightning. I did a poll. I told you guys, I asked you guys to pick which one do you think is the real one, or maybe I asked you to pick which one was the rap, whatever. Um, surprisingly, it was like 60, 40. 60% of people picked the right one, picked the correct shoe as the rap. 40% of people, which was a lot, it was like 120 something to like 160, I think. They picked the, the other shoe. So that just goes to show how close these shoes are and how much people just don't know the differences between one or the other. Or they might be able to spot differences, but they don't know. Okay, now I know there's that one's different than that one, but is that the real one or is it the fake one? Like people don't even know. So um, anyway, the reason I got those lightnings actually is because a company reached out to me and they said they wanted to send me lightnings. And they said they, they knew I already had a retail pair. So they, they watched my video. Well, yeah, they watched my videos. And they knew I had a retail pair. He says, I want to send you out a rep pair. And I want you to do a real versus fake. And I was like, well, I kind of don't do that. I mean, 
yeah, I have videos doing real versus fake, but I don't do them like a lot of people do. Like they, they do and analyze every little thing, and they're trying to um, basically legit check a shoe, and and this that's for the purposes of you want to make sure that you got a real one, just in case you kind of feel like somebody might have scammed you, or you're trying to buy a pair, you know, second hand off the secondary market. You want to make sure that they're real. That's what those videos are for. My videos are not for that. I'm all about you know, getting the rap to rock. So um, I don't care about the little nuances, the little dumb things that people nit that nitpick, nitpickers pick on, you know, um, because for the most part, most people don't even notice it. So I don't look at things like that. I just look at usually just really general things just to see overall, does it look like a retail pair? Will I get called out? Which nine times, 99 times out of 100, you're not going to get caught out. And I'll say 97 times out of 100, people don't even care. They never even look at it. So uh, even if your shoes is drastically different, like my Fire Reds, I did a video, a couple videos back, um, not a couple videos, probably about a year ago, I did Real versus Fake, Fire Red Jordan 4s. The Fire Reds I had were totally different. I got them early. I got them, for, they were reps. I got them early. Totally different than the ones that end up releasing. Um, I still rock them to this day, and I don't care. They look good to me. They were, the, the red was a little darker. The pattern, the way the netting was, uh, was at a different angle. There was like a lot of differences. Basically, what the shoe that I had as a rep, it was based off of the older Fire Red, and then this new Fire Red that released recently was a, like a, its own new thing. I didn't care. I, it was still a nice looking shoe, and I, I still rock the crap out of it. Still do to this day, and haven't worn my um, my retail pair of Fire Reds, and probably won't even. I'll just probably end up selling them eventually sometime. I'm just treating all my shoes, my retail pairs, like stock at this point. If I got a rep version of a retail pair that I have here, that retail pair is pretty much bank. I'm just holding it for bank, and uh, so yeah, like I like I was saying before, I went off on the whole thing. I don't do those real detailed comparisons because I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. As long as it looks generally good enough for me, um, I'm good enough to throw my feet and confidently wear them. Like, I even wear them like, I've been to the Nike stores, uh, all the, like, we got these, um, what do you call these type of stores? You know, these, where you go and you can pay resale for, sh for shoes, you know, like your stadium goods and places like that. We have those places up here. I wear the reps in there. Nobody even notices. Or if they do, they ain't saying nothing to me. And I don't care. So, um, yeah. nobody. I've had compliments. No one cares. Believe me. No one cares. With that being said, though, we're going to go ahead and do a real versus fake on these Lightning 4s. And we're going to nitpick. And I'm going to show you all the things that I could pick out that are different if that's what you want to do. Or if you want to use this video as a legit check um, because you think you might have paid for an authentic pair you end up with a rep. That is bad. I don't like to see that happen to anyone. So I'm glad that people do those videos so you can go and legit check. Uh, but it's not for you to go and to check the rep pair that you know you have as rep to see how close it is to retail to see if you can scam someone because that's wrong. And you know, don't try to see how good your reps are so you can do. All right. So how many people we got over here? Uh, we got five people watching. And we only have one like, so I think that's four people that don't have fingers. That's crazy. I feel so bad for you guys. You don't have fingers to hit the like button. Um, who else we got in here? We got Mike. What is up? What's going on? So we got a moderator up in the house. So y'all calm down now. Stop fighting in the comments. Benjamin, stop fighting with yourself. You know, because my moderator will kick you out. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's take a look at these like. I picked up this week and last week that I didn't do videos on. I probably won't do videos on. Did some things I just wanted to get y'all pins on. And also, uh, we did get another. We got some more Travis Scott lows in. And um, I actually got them from the same person that sent them to me the first time. Now, if you, you don't know, I did get two pairs of retail pair from Nike. Um, let's just say that all shipping accidents aren't bad. So I got two pairs of retail from Nike, but I also got a retail, I also got a rep pair of the Travis Scott Lowe's uh, that I reviewed. I did a review, uh, I did a review on this channel. I also did a review on Beastly Reviews. 
And uh, the review I did on this channel was kind of like a real versus fake video. You know, the way I do it, like, like I just explained. And uh, there was one thing that I noticed on that shoe, on my rep shoe versus my retail pair, was just some spacing in the back as far as how much space was between the lower sole and the... I'll show you guys. But um, basically, the people that sent those shoes out said, hold up, we got a way better version of those already. And they sent them out to me. So they just wanted me to see, like, no, nah, that pair we sent you, even though they were good and I've been wearing them, with no problems at all, and I'm going to continue to wear them. They sent me out another pair. So now I got another even better pair to wear. So, uh, yeah, I probably try to give them away. Now, to any of you guys, like I said, I don't, I'm sorry I don't give you shoes that are reps. Uh, maybe to my son or something if he wants them. But, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get started here. Let's go with the real versus fake. Now, I'm not going to make you guys try to sit here and figure out which is which because one of these boxes is a little more damaged, and that is usually an indication of a rep. Now, you want to ask yourself, why is it, now this angle is kind of, you can't really see the whole thing, so hold up. I got a laptop over here, let's see if we can squeeze this laptop more so on the side. And then we'll do this here, that all in frame, or am I clocking? While I got that set up, let me go check to make sure I'm, I'm streaming on the right. The right setup here. Give me one second. Is that better? Don't leave me, guys. Oh, why did it dim like that? Hmm, that's kind of weird. As soon as I switched it over to data, it went like crazy, didn't it, guys? And then the quality just went down. That sucks. That really sucks. Hold up, I hope it comes back. Let's see if I can get the quality to come back. Uh, yeah, that's really weird. As soon as I switched over to data and off of my Wi-Fi, it did that. Hmm. Hmm. All right, before we get into this, let me make sure I get this stuff straight. See, this is why I, I complain about live. I complain, I complain. Hold up. Let me just get this 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 correct, guys. Oh, no, it just did the same thing again hmm that's weird that's super weird okay so am my back am I frozen all right so I think it's all clear now so what we got here we got the rep we got hold up make sure I know which one. okay so I'm gonna keep the rep on this side and I'm going to keep the um, retail on this side. And like I said, uh, one of the things that you usually notice with some reps, not all reps, I notice a lot of the reps that I've been getting lately, um, they have been in really good condition, the boxes. But let me explain to you why the boxes are beat up on reps. And a lot of you guys don't know. You think probably because, oh, they're reps, so nobody cares about them. They just throw them into this and that, and, and they're just beat up. You know, retail pairs are, like, really taken care of. And, uh, you know, their baby from the from birth until they get to your hands. And um, that is not the case, guys. Um, there's a reason why rep boxes are beat up and these boxes aren't. The journey that this box took to get to my house uh, was not the same journey that this box took. This box came um, pretty much, it spent its whole life secured in a bundle, a case of shoes. Um, all the way up until it got to the shoe store that um, I picked it up from, or it got to the Nike distribution distribution center where it was shipped from. Um, that this box has been loved all the way up until then, so that took out the chances of it, you know, getting damaged. This box, on the other hand, it made its journey. Now, yeah, this box usually came from Foot Locker, you know, Champs, whatever or from the Nike distribution center. So, didn't come too far. Uh, it's been about a couple days, if it's shipped in another box, which was probably handled just through like UPS or FedEx. This box, on the other hand, didn't get the privilege of coming to the United States across the world, uh, you know, surrounded in a case with all, you know, with 96 other pairs of shoes in a box, tightly 
secured. This this came across the world. Um, most likely, most of them come double boxed uh, and wrapped up in some type of plastic, uh, like a FedEx classic or DHL, mostly FedEx lately, uh, plastic covers. And even though they're packaged, and, and they also have bubble wrap around them as well. Even though they're packaged better than this box when they're shipping, they ship for so much longer and further, and then they're by themselves. So imagine traveling across the world, you know, through airplanes, um, trucks, damage. Because a lot of the times the box that they're in is damaged. It doesn't start out that way. I doubt if they're grabbing damaged boxes to ship these in, in ship these to us. Um, so yeah, that's the reason why these these spend a lot, they, they travel a lot and a pretty far distance uh, in a single box amongst a whole bunch of other shipments and this don't. So that's the reason why these boxes often are beat up um, when they arrive. I mean, that's, that is what it is. It's not that people just don't care about them. It's just, they just have a hard life. So in that aspect, I kind of respect these boxes. They had a, they had a rough beginning, kind of like your boy here. So yeah. Um, Let's see. Now, now let's look at the actual color. The color itself is a little bit more brighter or light brighter on this box than it is on the red box. Uh, I can say that. Now I'm looking at the picture. I'm actually looking at the screen too. Uh, and what did you say? You said the uh, logo on the red. He has a beer belly. Now I I would say that the logo on the red. He doesn't have a beer belly. The logo on the rep, on the rep appears to be. Yeah, you know how you can go on Photoshop and make something like one or two percent larger than the original. It looks like that's that's what happened with this. It's like one or two percent larger. Like everything is a little bit bigger. If you if you see what I'm saying. So, what's up, Dean? Joining us in the house. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Everything is just slightly slightly bigger. And the animal print, or not the animal, the cement print, looks to be the same. If you guys see see any differences, let me know. The, the bottoms. Oh, and the box is size wise. Let's see. Is it the same size? It's slightly smaller. Very slightly smaller. It could be squished smaller though. I can't tell. Uh, but it does look. Oh, is that? It's it. I can't speak now. It's the exact same width, but it, it is. It is smaller, but it also squished. So I'm, I'm going to say that these are the same size boxes. One's just squished. This one, um, this one's a little darker on the bottom. And what else? That's about it. And if you don't have two boxes to compare, you're never going to be able to tell. I'm just, you're just not going to know because there's nothing that's missing. So you can't be like, okay, my box should have this. So if you don't have two, and then all right, if we're looking at this. Retail on the top, rep on the bottom, and they're both ten and a half. Uh, you guys can't see that. Let me see. Here we go. There's the uh, tags. Rep on the bottom. I say they look good. Now, guys, you know I don't do this. I don't do this old nitpicky stuff, but they asked for it. This is what they asked for. All right, so. Let's go ahead and take the lid off the boxes. And there's the lids. Looks to me like one of them is a little shiny. And this one's got like a little um, more of a matte finish of matter on the retail pair. More shiny. I'm going to do like this so you can see the, the gloss. What do you guys think? All right. Uh, there's no stickers on the inside. Uh, they both have that that little stuff right there. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and take the box. I'll put the box lid under the box here. Now, mind you, I already kind of looked at these shoes, so I I, I know what's different a little bit. Um, I, I know the obvious things that I would pick out. Hey, what's up, Nolan? Thanks for joining, man. If y'all come in here, can you hit that thumbs up for me, please? I appreciate it very much. Very much. Okay. So let's take a look at the paper. This is how they do it, guys, right? 
I don't have a black light, by the way. I just have a regular light, so I can kind of look at stuff brighter. But yeah. I'm not doing the black light, guys. I, 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 I draw the line at the black light. This is not happening. I'm not doing the black light. All right. <laughs> if there's imaginary uh, drawings on his shoe, I'm just never going to know about it because I can care less about the black light. All right, so looking at the paper, I'm going to pull the, sh the shoe out so I can get to the paper. Let's pull this out here. Ooh, okay. And, oh, okay. Well, well, this is this is crazy. They didn't even give me the um, the paper. This The retail fair has a cement paper, and it has this, like, piece in here. This goes in the center to keep the shoes from touching each other. Um... But they didn't give me that paper. I don't know why you didn't give me that paper. When you ask me to do a real versus fake, I would think he's going to send me everything. You know what I mean? Like, like, send me the best you got. You're you missing the paper, dude. Don't come at me either. You asked for this. <laughs> All right. So, oh, let's get let's get everything out of the box. So let's take these out. And um, let's take these out. I'm just going to set them on the floor here for a second so we can look at the box and stuff. Let's get everything out the box. Cause this is what they want. They want the real versus fake, the real deal. You got the Artemis tattoo in there, crap. Alright, the box is itself. Alright. That's the real... Boy, that just looks bad. Let me just turn it like that so it can kind of be like, here we go. So, that's the real, that's the fake. That's, I mean, that's the real, that's the rep or fake or whatever you call it. It does have a, this one has more of a deeper color, that yellow. It's just got more, more, um, I don't know. It's just, a, it's hard to see, but it, it, it is. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I can't tell. But I think that the, the retail has a little bit of a, a deeper yellow shade on it, but. It's hard to tell. It does have the same sheen on the inside. They're both a little matte. And uh, that's it. It's uh, They look the same. I would say the boxes... Oh, no, they don't because one's shinier than... Okay, I about to say. You can tell the difference between them because one is shinier on, on the outside of the bottle. All right, so that's, that's that. Paper was different because they didn't put the paper in here that I was supposed to put. Um, I bet he thought I wasn't going to do this. I bet he thought I was just going to do the, the review on Beast and Reviews like I normally do. And, and I wasn't going to. But you asked me to do it, and I'm going to do it. So let's put these boxes to the side. Let's put that one over there and that one over here. And uh, let's just bring up one shoe from each. And I'll put that right there. All right, here we go. Let's get to the nitty gritty. Watch it. Watch it. Uh, watch now. It's going to, it's going to jam up. All right, come on, internet, get with me, get with me. Come on, there's no one home. There's no one. There's, there's no one home. There's no one on the Wi-Fi right now. What are we doing here? What are we waiting for? What do I pay for? I got the fastest internet possible in this hick of a town. I'm like, oh, in. Come on now. All right, can y'all guys see it? Because if you can't see it, it's just, it's just small. Well, one of these look dirty. I'm just looking at it. on the screen. It looks dirty. It doesn't look dirty in person. But y'all see that? Doesn't that look dirty? Like the the rep side looks looks. Why is it glowing that color? It's like, is it really that? No, that's crazy. All right. So let's take a look. Boy, one is looking green on the screen. <laughs> it really is looking green on the screen. There must be something in it. I mean, one is worn. This one is worn on the left. The rep is, has been worn. I've, I've worn it for the on foot, and I wore it a little bit um, when I shot the video afterward around. But it's got a it's got a little tint to it. Maybe I'm crazy, but I don't know. All right, so uh, I'm going to show you guys one of the biggest differences I noticed right off the bat. Right off the bat, and someone even called it out when I put that post up on Instagram. Um, and I was surprised he was, able, he was even able to see that. The uh, the rear tab on the rep, the rep now is on this side. The rear, it is totally different. 
I'm not gonna lie, that that tab is totally different. It's first of all, it's 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 slightly bigger. By slightly, I mean it's, it's a lot bigger. So <laughs> it's a lot bigger. The uh, the little squares are well. Do I gotta really talk about? Them? You guys can see with your own eyes. Like they're more prominent on the retail pair. Um, like this whole back tab situation. If they wanted to make this 100% match the retail pair. They should just start all over again because this one doesn't match at all. Uh, you can see, I'm trying to see, make sure. Look, the spacing on a jump man is, is way off on these. Um, it's almost like this is a bigger shoe. Like if this was a 14 and this is a 10 and a half, I'd be like, okay, it makes sense. But it's like they gave me the back pad of a larger shoe. And this is for us, this is a 10 and a half. They're both 10 and a half, by the way. So it's that's what it looks like. It looks like they pulled a back tab off of a over off of a 12 or a 14 and stuck it on a 10 and a half shoe. Because this should be actually a little a little shorter. A little wide. I mean, not as wide. These should be more prominent. The little things that stick out. There should not be that much space um, between the jump man and the bottom here. Uh, this part looks to be about right. The 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 main thing that caught my attention. Uh, with this shoe, um, let's take a look. Let's go. Let's switch around to the front. Let's look at the uh, the tongues. Now the tongue. I forgot which is which. The tongues they've been pretty good on. Uh, all the fours I've gotten, they the tongues have been fine. They've been shaped good. Uh, like this one. This is the the tongue on the rep you see it's got a nice curve it's not jagged i've had some jagged ones with retail pairs if y'all remember the uh the bread the bread fours that came out a few years ago i could not find a pair to save my life to keep i had to keep going through a whole bunch because i was able to get a bunch luckily through the old Foot Locker reservation thing but i had to keep going through a bunch just to find one pair that i wanted to keep because they were all just so bad they were just horrible I and mean, you can see Retail right there. The tongue seems to be about, let me see if it's the same height. Yeah, they're about the same height. Uh, but putting these side by side, this one, it seems like the, the rep pair does have a slight little, it's like it's dirty. <laughs> now, I wore it, and I know I didn't get it that dirty, so I don't know if it's it's rubbing off on my pants, but it's definitely, it's got a, a tint to it. It's, there's no hiding that. It's, there's a, definitely a yellow tint to it. Um, the jump man, let me see how the jump man looks. The jump man on my 11s I just reviewed were perfect. Perfect jump man. I could not ask for a more perfect jump man. And I'll tell you that these jump mans, they're real fine. Um, I wouldn't call any of these jump mans bad. What do y'all think? Jump man. This is rep. Rep, I mean retail. Jump man looks looks on point on both so jump man's uh i think i think they crossed that bridge i think they nailing those jump mans now let's look one of the things i'm noticing is the air behind the tongue the yellow is just a lot more brighter on the retail pair y'all see that oops so you can tell I, I don't do this man i don't do this but yeah See, yeah, this is like, <laughs> again, it has like, a, everything has like a little dull, it's like a duller tint. Um, and I'm going to try to move it for the lighting. So it's a little more brighter on here, a little duller on here. Uh, let's go inside. Let's pull out the shoe trees. Let's pull out the shoe tree. Shoe tree. Oh, let's look. Don't they do this? They do this too, right? They do the shoe trees. So uh shoe tree is that's that's different. It's got like this has a notch closer to the front, this has a notch in the back. And they feel they feel and look exactly like the same material. So I believe they got the shoe trees from the same place, probably that Nike gets their shoe trees from. Um except for this one says on the inside, it says molded. Molded sock liner. 
This one doesn't say it, but it could say it on the other, on the right shoe. Let me see if it says on the right shoe. Nope, doesn't say it on the right shoe. So, uh, the sock line, the shoe tree on the retail pair has the wording molded sock liner underneath, underneath the shoe tree. Oh, that's, that's uh, so I don't like pulling the, um, this, the soles out unless they actually come out easy because I don't want to, okay, they're coming out easy. That's the sole. <laughs> it's not glued in at all. This is the retail pair. That's the sole. Let's pull out this one. This one's not glued in either. Um, it is worn, so you can tell it's dirty. And this one just says 10.5 on the back. This one has some other wording on it. They both look the same other than one being dirtier than the other. Um, and they both feel the same. As far as on the inside, this is where this is what gets me crazy. Like I would never, I would never do this. I would never look underneath. Like who the hell cares about this? But they wanted a real versus fake. So I'm giving them a real versus fake. <laughs> but this is on the inside. I don't know. There's there's strings, tape, and some mesh and stitching. I mean. I'm not gonna analyze that, <laughs> but if you see something, make note of it in the comments or the chat, because I, I don't really, I mean, I, I just don't care. <laughs> I, I, I don't care about that stuff, but it, it looks the same. It all looks like a mess. They all taping up some strings and stuff. And I'm, I just, I'm surprised that that's the way to construct shoes with like tape on the inside and stuff. All right. Uh, what else? Am I, what else am I missing? Um, oh, let's look at the bubbles. The bubbles. Are the bubbles the same? The bubbles are the same. The bubbles are the same. Oh, you know what? Oh, this is one thing I did notice, guys. You probably are not going to see this. The bubbles are the same, but these are both size 10 and a half, right? I, I matched the backs up. Everything is lined up, but I'm going <laughs> to slowly go up. And this, this one here, is about a half size bigger. You see that? It is. That's lined up exactly back to the back. Let's put them down on the ground. That's the difference in size between both are 10 and a half. One's about a half size bigger, and that's going to be the uh, the wrap. Um, that is one thing I have noticed. Sizing could be a little erratic with the reps. I know with... Um, with the Travis Scott sixes, the British khakis I just reviewed on BC Reviews, uh, they they felt like a size 11. I don't wear a size 11. I wear a size 10 and a half. They felt a little big. So uh, I actually put in that review. I told people that they, they look like they're running about a half size big. And uh, these are probably going to be the same. Look like they're running about a half size bigger than the retail pair. And the thing when it comes to like these shoes, um, I don't think these are reselling for a whole lot of money. Wouldn't be a shoe that I would reach out for a rep for. I would just probably see if I can cop retail, uh, especially for the amount that they're, they're, they're just, they're kind of easy right now to get. Uh, it'll be once that price starts climbing up, then you'd be like, okay, I just want to grab a pair of reps to rock. Um, before we continue, I'm Still gonna say I still gonna beat the crap out of these up because most of the stuff that I'm pointing out, even as obvious as that back tab is, uh, and that's the craziest thing. Like it's that looks super obvious when you put them side by side, but I I take this this retail pair away and I'm wearing this every day. No one would even care or notice. They they wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. I have both pairs and have done a real versus fake. I'm doing a real versus fake. And if I seen somebody wearing these just like this, I couldn't tell if that was the the good one or the bad one. I couldn't tell how they're supposed to look. I just, I don't, you just don't care. Like, I don't care. Um, let me go to the chat and see what you guys are talking about. Not many conversations being held today. Y'all being quiet. We got eight people watching. What is up, guys? And I got eight likes. I'll take that. Uh, let's see. That logo on the rep. Okay, I saw that piece. Um... We can see it. I saw a review earlier. Yeah, okay. Uh, Kwame, what 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 did they point out specifically? I, I'm not. I don't miss that piece. Um, is it the back tab thing or? Uh, 
you know, I'm pretty sure whatever I'm pointing out in this this video uh, is something that's been pointed out, I'm sure, by a lot of other people because this is a batch of shoes. This is this is going to be a lot of shoes that look exactly like this rep pair. And then what they'll do is they'll update it. This is our early batch. Um, I'm pretty sure even though these released, you know, recently, this shoe was made before they released. So that is probably one of the reasons. And one another thing I can say is, you know what? And I can see, a, um, I can see the first time I've ever seen that. I'm like, oh, wow, look. There's some uh, dotted lines on there where you can see where they're getting the placement of the oversized back tag that should have been a little smaller, but you can see right there. And I've seen the actual dotted lines. So I didn't even need the uh, black light. Look at that there. I had to wipe that off before I wear it because you can literally see the, the, the freaking line there. But you get a pencil eraser, I'm going to erase that right off. But yeah, you think I'm going to wear these? I'm gonna throw these right back up on my stock of shoes and I'm gonna put these on and continue to run my errands and do everything I wanna do when I wanna wear a yellow shoe. This is not gonna be a lot because it is a yellow shoe. Um, let's look at the soles. Let's take a look at these soles. Let's see. Boy, that shoe is just so much bigger. Now I'm looking at it, it's, it is bigger, like all around bigger. I wonder if they just mislabeled it <laughs> instead of like making it wrong size. They could have just put a size 10 and a half on there. And it's really an 11. Just got the wrong size tag. Uh, the bottoms look exactly the same. Like the grays and everything. Hold up. Maybe I'm wrong. Is, is, am I wrong? No. No, the grays are exactly the same. So I don't see any issues with the bottoms. Uh, so the main things, just to recap, main things I've seen with this shoe uh, is maybe the color is this slightly, oh, I was getting a green, sometimes I get a green tint, sometimes I don't. I guess it, it can also be the way you brush the, the fabric, but, but sometimes I'm getting a green tint, sometimes I'm not, but I'm going to say that it's not going to be anything you're going to notice um, on either shoe. Uh, the color of the laces might be a slight bit brighter on a retail pair. Um, again, after a few wears, a little bit of dust is definitely not something you're going to notice at all if, if you don't have a pair side by side. That's something I wouldn't even call for, call out anyway. Um, the biggest thing to me is just the, the heel tab. The heel tab is just uh, the spacing here. Now that's something I could probably notice uh, on feet if somebody had them on I, I would be able to look and see okay that's a lot of space there but th again I would have to remember how much space was it what they supposed to have and this is like an eighth of an inch on a size ten and a half who knows what size shoe they actually wearing and this is probably more like three you know a half of an inch maybe so I mean I don't know and then this being you know not as pronounced other than that um not much else I would use or be able to use to call anyone out on or to, to spot the rep. Um, yeah. That's that's my story and I'm sticking to it. But that's it. I mean, that's about as detailed as I can get. Let me, I, if I feel the, um, the netting, do they feel the same? Yeah, well, this one's, this one feels a lot more loose and like you can I don't know it just feels more flimsy this one's a little bit more they're both rubbery but this one's a little more stiff and this one's a little more loose if that means anything uh on the sides yeah same thing on the sides just going like this this one has a more of a rubber bandy feel to it and this one feels more like a it's a stiffer uh, it's still moving. It's just not giving that rubber bandy effect that these are giving. So <laughs> actually, that'd be a cool little test. I think you just go like that, and you get like a rubber band snapback thing. And then if you do it on these, it's just not doing it, not doing it. So yeah, I guess that's something you could use if you're trying to legit check. There you go, a little tidbit. Yep, even the air unit is bigger on this shoe. I bet this is a size 11 mislabeled. I'm, I'm almost willing to bet this is a size 11 because everything is bigger on this shoe. Um, but yeah, 
can let's see. Uh, it's the same. The back, the back door factories. Okay. Uh, all right. So that is my real versus fake. Uh, the question is, you know, do these bother you? I mean, I think. What do you get these for? You get them for way under. I think these are two twenty five. What's the retail on the box? Two twenty five, right? I just did this review. I should know. Two twenty. So these cost two twenty. Some people don't even want to spend a two twenty. The retail price two twenty. They don't. They're like, you know what? I'll spend one forty, one thirty, get something like that, and so I can dog them out, and then get another pair and dog those out. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's the real versus fake. Now I think. Could they have been more? Could they have been better? Yeah, there's things they could fix. Definitely with that back tab, make them, make them a lot more perfect. Uh, I think if you're gonna ask me to do a real versus fake, the best to send me the best stuff you got. And I can't say that that was exactly uh, or 100 the best, especially since he didn't even have the paper in there. I mean, come on now, you guys have been pretty good. You know who I'm talking to. Y'all been pretty good. You know, and then you just didn't send me the pay. Like I said, I don't think he was really thinking I was going to do it, but I did it. You wanted me to do it, I did it. Don't call me out and ask me to do a real versus fake. You know, don't be all confident because you got some things that you can fix. I'm still going to wear them. I'm still going to wear them. <laughs> but you got some things you can fix. So um, let's go ahead and put these shoes back so I don't mix them all up. Yeah, let's see. This is these. Did y'all cop the lightens? Put them in the um, chat. Like, how many of you guys passed on lightness? Was this a must cop for you guys? When they first came out, man, when they first when they first uh, put out there that they were going to release, everyone was going crazy, and I was just like, eh. <laughs> I mean, it's a cool shoe, but I never was like, damn, I really need some yellow Jordan 4. Like, it's just something I don't need. But I got them anyway, because I feel like I like Jordan 4. It's almost one of my favorite silhouettes. So I need them in my hand. I kind of slept on the cool gray fours and I was waiting for them to go on sale because they actually sat for a little bit. And then, it, then they never went on sale and now they're like crazy price. So I regret sleeping on the cool grays. And I was like, I don't want that to happen for me with these. So let me just grab a, a pair. So I got, I got a retail pair, but I'm probably never gonna wear them. Maybe I'll just hold them for a flip or trade or something. And I'll be beating these up. Maybe they'll send me out some updated pairs. And if they do, I will do an updated review. Just like I will be doing one soon for the Travis Scott's that they sent me. Um, if you guys want to see the Travis Scott's, I'll show them to you now. The updated pair. If you don't want to say, if nobody says anything, like show me those Travis, the updated Travis Scott's, then I'm not going to waste my time pulling them out. But if you guys want to see it, I'll, I will do it in, in this live here. Uh, but that's it for these right here. Now I'm going to, I can go into some stuff that you guys uh, may have already seen. But I picked them up this week. And just wanted to run them past you. Let me see what we got. Uh, I might even show you guys some of this stuff. What are these? Oh, I'm going to show you guys these. I hit for these on uh, sneakers about sneakers we have to give them a moment of silence oh my god this is it we got to give a moment of silence to my little black phone if you don't know uh i I've, I've hit so many shoes on this little black phone um it's it's ridiculous the amount of shoes that i hit on this on this phone is ridiculous and it's because i i think it's because i have to input the password manually because it doesn't have the thumbprint it's an old phone it's like an iphone 5 or 6 it was my son's old phone had it for years i've been using it for his account actually like i have accounts with all the family members and i got phones for them because it makes it easier for me to enter draws if i just gotta grab one of their phones boom 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 enter draw well today i went to go enter the draw on his phone and not just his phone another phone that i use for another account and I couldn't, and it wouldn't access Nike sneakers or anything. And I went to go update the app, and it says you need iOS 13 or later to update or to get the new sneakers app. 
and nothing works. So this phone has to be retired. And it is my best, most winningest phone. Uh, it, it doesn't win all the time, but it hits for big stuff. Like the first shoe it ever hit on was the Travis Scott Highs, the OG Mocha pair. And then from then on, it was just hitting, hitting, hitting. And you can see here, you probably can't see it here, but I don't want to show you guys all this stuff. But um, when it hits, I'll usually just like screenshot the got and then, you know, airdrop it to my phone so I can post it on uh, Instagram and stuff like that. And you can just see all the goggles on this phone. Like, it, it's crazy. Like, if you, you see all those goggles, like this phone kills it. The most recent victory, which is last shoot that it got, was these. Those uh, Jordan 5, the light blue ones. It, it gets everything. It gets everything. It got, it got the... Um, Oh, I got the, these are easy, the Obsidian 13s, even though I like them. It, oh, I didn't get those. It got the the Bordeaux. It got it got those Lady Jordan Fours, some other Dunk thingies, the black high top Panda Dunks. Um, it's got the Oreo Fours. Yeah, this phone has got a lot of stuff. It's got neutral grays, men and gray school. It's got the Ronald McDonald ones. It's got the fragment dunks. Uh, oh, man. I even hit the Colby's on here. Hold up. It's got the Michigan dunks, the anniversary 11s, three pi What's the phone? There was one phone, I swear to God, three pairs. We got two pairs of mochas. This is, it was one phone that it let me get exclusive access and then still let me buy on um, when it came out. Um, Flint's, it, it's got a lot of stuff. It, it goes way back, way back. Oh, remember these? It got those, uh, the blue chills. Um, oh, and then the, the most famous one of all, it got these. Uh, we're... How long have we been clocking for? Jesus Christ. <sighs> it never stops. It never stops. Let's see if we can switch this up. <sighs> Did it fix it? Nope. Sorry, I didn't realize that we were clocking and I'm still going on. I don't know where it left off at, but I was just going through all the stuff that this phone hit on. And that was like the most famous got him was that Travis Scott high. And uh, yeah, so the phone is of no more use to me. It's finally time to, to go out and bury it. I'll have a special ceremony. Uh, I'll send out uh, an obituary and all that stuff if anybody's interested to come in and pay some respects to the little black phone. Um, but now I have... My wife did give me an old phone, and I had some other old phones. They all had Androids. These were all my old phones in my, in my son's phone, but everyone else has Androids, and I don't like Androids. And so all I got is a bunch of old Androids. Now I gotta put some accounts on. It sucks, man. But yeah, somebody said for sure show the Travis Scotts. So for you, I'm gonna show them when I'm done. So I got these black undefeated dunks in. I hit on sneakers. And uh, I think they're all right. I got some other dunks that kind of look like these. And what are they called? The, uh, it's called the Bear Brick Dunks or something like that. I don't know the name of them. But anyway, uh, definitely don't. Well, these ain't my size anyway, I don't think. Right? No, these are size eight and a half. So they're for the flip. They go back into the stock room. And, uh, yeah, we got to start emptying out that stock room before 2022 hits because I'm not trying to pay all those taxes on all those shoes that I have in there. Um, so we just I just talked about these. I hit for these on sneakers. Last The last thing I hit for on a little black phone before it became out of date was these shoes. I don't even know what they call it. Oh, Bluebirds, right? 
Bluebirds, these things. What do y'all think about these? Is this a men's shoe? Well, I know it's a women's shoe, but is this something that men should be rocking or no? I think it's kind of a cool color. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna wear if I would wear it. It's, I'm not wearing these though. These are my size. What size are they? They're size six and a half. Six and a half. Yeah, it is six. Six and a half men's, eight women, and uh, yeah, Nai. I don't think Nai likes these. Oh yeah, I think I think she's on the fence with these. She kind of likes it, but she's not into the Jordan fives though. I think that's what's holding her back. But yeah, so hit for those. Uh, not sure what we're doing with that. Is that just going to end up for sale? Or yeah, probably probably for sale. Sold on StockX. Not StockX. I don't really sell StockX. And uh, what else did we get? We got uh, these. Now, I live here with one of the biggest Billie Eilish fans um, that I know of. And she, when I showed her this picture, she said, no, she don't like them. And then when they came in, she changed her mind. She actually changed her mind. She said she actually would wear these shoes. She likes them now with all the different color options of laces. And uh, yeah, but I don't think I want to give them to her because I think I give her too many shoes as it is. So this is, this was something that, yeah, for Nye, but hmm, I think I get her too much stuff now, but she has a job. She could borrow from me. <laughs> too many freebies. But yeah, hit for these on, um, on Billy Eilish website. So the, these are retail pair. They're actually nice. I never had AJ1 KOs in hand. They all right. They're not bad. They got a nice shape to them, kind of like a mid, but they're cool. Definitely you can see young female looking these with no problem. Um, I don't think men should rock them. I think y'all should just keep your big feet out of them. Save these for the females. Stop trying to squeeze your foot in every woman's shoe. So yeah, got those. So I don't know what we're doing with these. Probably just gonna hold them to see what your girl wants to do with them. And then last but not least, I think this is last but not least. Yeah, I think I showed you all the other shoes like But these can I don't even know what they are. What are they? Oh, okay. These came in. Oh, these. I'm still trying to figure out what they were as I'm opening them up. Uh, I got these. These stink. Woo. Now they smell like glue. See, it's not reps, all reps that smell like glue. Another little tidbit of information. Why do reps smell like glue? Here's the reason why, guys. Reps smell like glue because a lot of the times, reps were made way more recent than uh, retail pairs. Retail pairs are made months, way in advance, way in advance before they ever get to your hands. A lot of reps are produced, you know, right up until they ship out to you. So the chances of that glue smell um, being still strong is, is likely when you get a rep. That's why. And if you ever notice, I don't know if you have reps, if you have any reps, go back to them a few months uh, after you've had them for a while and try to smell them. You'll, there'll be no glue smell. Um, a lot of my older, my first reps that came in, actually a lot of the reps that I'm getting now don't really have any glue smell. But I'm getting a lot of like older retros or some older retros and stuff that have been out for like, a long time so they're not sending me newly made shoes they don't have any glue smell whatsoever uh but a fresh new brand new shoe yeah you're gonna have glue smell. this smells like it was made yesterday and it really really reeks of glue um and this is a retail pair directly from nike and uh i don't like these i said this before i put it on instagram i'm not a fan of them um i entered the drawing just because it was something different i wanted to see how they look I see how they look now. And they're a lot more yellowy than I thought they were going to look. I thought they were more of a beigey color. And this is straight up yellow. It even looks more yellow in the camera screen that I'm looking at. Uh, but not a fan of these. These are for sale. Anybody's interested, size 10 and a half. Hit your boy up on Instagram, bc underscore gt. And uh, we can work out a deal. Uh, but not a fan of those. Will they go up? Maybe. They're weird. Weird shoes usually tend to go up. Another shoe that I got for retail on uh, sneakers was 
those uh, the chocolate chocolate dunks. Uh, I don't know what I did with them. I really don't know what I did with them. Let me see. Hold on. I'll see if I can find out. They're not there. Let's see if they're over here. Chocolate dunks. What do they look like? Oh, here. Here we go. So I don't think I showed you guys these before, uh, but I did get these little sneakers. The chocolate dunks. How y'all feel about these? Why is my um? My quality is like horrible. Let me see if I can update that to a little, a little better. All right, here we go. So um, if the quality looks bad, you can go to your settings and update it to like 720 or something. I don't know why it's looking like, it's looking like I'm filming with a potato right now. But anyway, uh, these, these are okay. Um, I'm I'm really not digging that mid cut or that half mid cut. It's like they didn't commit to a mid. They didn't commit to a low. It just gave you like an in-between thing. Had this been a low, it would have been so freaking dope. It would have probably it would have probably been one of the nicest dunks this year had this just been a low. Um, another thing I kind of don't like is this velvety feel. It feels like a stuffed animal. And yeah, it's it's kind of like a slippery, like a slipper or something. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these, but they are my size. I did throw them back in my keep stash with my personal stuff. So I'm probably gonna sit on them for a minute. Um, but I don't know. I didn't know how I feel about them. Definitely unique. I did go after the strawberries today on social status. I think that's the name of the website. Uh, I didn't get them though, of course. These release, the, the strawberries release sometime, uh, I want to say sometime next week, I'm not sure. But I'll go after them, just to see, because <laughs> I go after everything. That's the, the life of a sneakerhead, you go after everything, even if you don't like it. <laughs> I don't get the rationale of that, but yeah. And like, oh, maybe I could just flip it, trade bait, something, somebody wants it. But uh, yeah, oh, social status, yeah, that's what these are, social status. Um, it says right down about the box is really cool. I love the packaging. The whole idea is, is pretty cool. It's been done before though, but it's cool. It's different, and uh, I am just not understanding why my quality right now is so bad on this. I am filming in HD, and it is not. I think it's just my Wi-Fi or something is not keeping up. It sucks. I told you this was not going to be a great live for me because it just started off wrong. I should have known. I should have not. I should have just scrapped it from the beginning. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, show the Travis Scotts. I forgot. I was about to just end this live real quick and not even show the Travis Scotts. But you asked for it, so I'm going to show it to you real quick as people start to get bored and check out of here. And I get it. It's Friday night. I'm trying to check out myself. You go watch some Netflix, figure out something. I'll be up all night. So these are the updated ones that they sent. They already, I've already done a review on the, on the previous pair. I did a review on Beast Reviews, and I did a Real versus Fake on this channel. And they sent out an updated pair because they saw some differences and some things that were pointed out. And these are way... I can't say they way better. The other ones were, were good, too. So. so they just made a couple changes. Uh, one thing you'll notice, and I think well, my pair had tumble leather, but this one has very tumble on the swoosh. You can see that. And then one of the main things that we noticed before was that there was a lot of spacing in between the um, the Cactus Jack face man and then like the up, upper and the bottom here. Like this whole area was larger. It was the whole blue area was just too much space and, and not an issue no more. That is not an issue. They totally, totally fixed it on both pairs too. Look, that was the only thing that was different than the retail pair. The only thing. And it's 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 it. Man, this woo, look at the leather on this one. 
Okay. All right, well, this one is a little better. <laughs> Look at the, the leather on that toe box is nice. Now, I got a retail pair. I don't think my retail pair has leather like this, but damn, okay, nice. See you. I see you all over there. Now, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is the one that they should have told me to do the real list face. Actually, I think they had so I think they did tell me to do an updated real list face, but I don't know if I'm going to do it. I might just do a little quick video on Beast and Reviews showing you guys the updated pair. But I think they nailed it. The updated pair is updated. Looks good. Wax laces. Yeah, so that makes pair number four. I got four pairs of these. Two retails and two reps. And, um, they're nice. Let me put these back. So that's it. I think I'm going to go ahead and end it now. What time is it? It's like 11 of, 11.06, so I've been on for an hour. Uh, this video will take about 16 hours. It's a process. <laughs> I don't know why, but all my lives take forever to process. So I'm not playing when I say about 16 to 18 hours. This video will process and then be available for other people to see. So if you're watching it live, you're lucky right now because other people are just not going to be able to see it. All right, guys, I think that's it. Um, is there anything else in the chat? Y'all been very quiet. Probably the most quietest chat I've had uh, in most recent times. I got to do more lives because I guess people aren't getting notified. So, But I appreciate everyone that stopped in and uh, and came through. Even if you came through just to see the rumors, it's fake. You bounced out and you're going by now. I appreciate you still. And uh, I don't know if somehow you happen to find this live and you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button for me. I, I'll put some videos out. I promise. I promise. And then also subscribe to my other channel, BC Reviews. I got some stuff coming. Anybody want to see a sneak peek of the next shoe I got? I think if you already saw me on Instagram, you already know. I'm going to show it to you anyway. Here's a sneak peek of the next shoe coming up on BC Reviews. Uh, sneak peek. All right. And the shoe is crazy, and it's not like a retail pair. And uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to get my money back, even though I didn't pay anything for it. But <laughs> it's not like a retail pair. And I'll tell you about it in Beastly Reviews. All right, so I'm out of this joint, guys. Thanks for joining, and uh, enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Oh, is it Saturday? No, it's Friday. Enjoy the rest of your Friday, soon to be Saturday. Make sure I say what's up to everyone. What's up, Roberto? And um, what's up, Grant? And what's up? I don't know what your last I don't know what your first name is, how you say it, but your last name is Mo. So what's up, Mo? All right, appreciate y'all. Hit that thumbs up for me before you leave out of here, and we're all good. Oh, oh, one other thing. I, uh, <laughs> damn it. It always happens. I always about to end the live. And I was about to. I I, um, I hit for the reserve on those championship Georgetown dunks yesterday. I got that thing down pat, guys. I should do a video on how to do it, but I got it down pat. I know exactly what to click, when to click it to reserve a shoe. Now, unless it's like a height, you know, low stock shoe, you know, I probably won't have a shot at it. But if it's like a fairly decent stock shoe, I think I got a pretty good chance of. of doing the, the reserve, uh, you know, for the sneaker pass. And I hit for I hit for the uh, Georgetowns, like I just said. And uh, and when I do it, I have to spoof myself to New York City. And then I go to New York City to pick them up. And uh, I did that, spoofed myself, hit. And today I was going to head out and pick them up um, when I got off work. And I got in the car and I started driving. And then my time... Went from now to get to New York. Normally, I can do it in under two hours. Uh, but today, as soon as I started driving, it updated and said it was going to be three hours. And I immediately turned around and I said, forget those shoes. So I did not pick up those shoes. If you saw yesterday, I put on my story that I reserved. I didn't pick them up. I said, there's no way I'm driving three hours to pick up some dunks that are reselling for like, I think like 200 bucks maybe. They cost 100 and I only want them. If I want them for the personal, maybe I'll take the drive up this Friday night. You know, I'll hang in New York for a little bit, get some food and stuff, and come back. That's usually how I do it, but not today. Not for three hours up. And then, you know, it's usually only two hours back, but I can't invest that much time. I can work a little bit overtime and make that money back. 
easily. Um, just gonna let, leave that shit. So I didn't pick up that dunk that I hit on yesterday. But I do know how to do it. I do know how to do it. And I maybe should probably put it in the video. Or do a live and show you guys. But whatever. Now I'm out of this, John. I gotta go. Because I, now I'm rambling. I'm gonna go watch some Netflix. Grab another drink. And uh, I'll see you guys. All right? Later. I gotta hit that end button. But I gotta get up and do it. So let's see how long it takes me to hit the end button. There it is, right there.